Hi everyone, today I'm so excited to be talking about my favorite note in a fragrance, sandalwood. When I see sandalwood as a note in a fragrance, my heart always beats faster. I am always excited in trying out and discovering amazing sandalwood fragrances. So having said that, I have a lot of fragrances that are sandalwood dominant. It took me so much time to narrow down today's list, guys. As I have been preparing this list since last year, but you know, I feel like I had like 16 or 17 and I don't wanna bombard you with 16 or 17 because if you know me or if you know what I talk about in my channel, I only want to talk about like the best of the best, of course, in my opinion. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do reviews and recommendations of affordable and luxury fragrances in my channel. Now, if that sounds appealing to you, then please do keep watching and maybe consider subscribing. So as mentioned from 16 fragrances, I have finally narrowed it down to 12 and I have categorized them as well according to wearability. So the first category is the easy wear sandalwood. And I'm going to start off with Voile de Oc by Yves Richer. This for me is such an easy wear and also it is for someone who doesn't really know um how like a sandalwood really smells like but wants to try i highly recommend this one mm. this has a very simple note structure only two notes listed infragrantica sandalwood and cedar to me this is such a perfect example of an easy wear creamy sandalwood it's very likable Mm, it is light yet long lasting in my opinion mm, it is something that becomes like your own scent at the end of the day mm, such a warm inviting sandalwood uh, dominant fragrance that is affordable as well this i must say is less than 50 dollars i think and I think they have it in a new packaging now as well. Um, highly recommend if you are looking for uh, a safe sandalwood that is likable and can be easy to use every day, especially to those of you who are working in a very close environment. When it comes to longevity and projection, this is very moderate. However, I can assure you that this stays on clothes and it gives a beautiful scent bubble throughout the day. Um, when it comes to projection though, it is very moderate and it's unisex in my opinion. While the Oak by Yves Richer. Next up is something that I'm gonna call as an underrated, amazing sandalwood. And this is by Lush. And this is called Shade. Guys, the note structure of this fragrance is very simple. Once again, only two notes listed. Sandalwood and Olibanum. Mm. I haven't really heard anyone talking about this fragrance. That's why I'm calling it an underrated sandalwood fragrance. Because, guys, this is so good. It is very fresh, um, a little bit herbally. Mm, the kind of sandalwood in here is not your typical one. That's why I love it. Because normally when you talk about sandalwood, you expect it to be creamy, right? This one is not. This one is in the herbal side of sandalwood. It is clean. It's very fresh. And the dry down of this is just very smooth. It has that olibanum note. However, it is resinous, but it's still like fresh resinous type. I love this one. 
and you know another affordable sandalwood fragrance in the market um if you haven't tried this one i highly recommend you checking it out in your nearest lush store when it comes to longevity and projection this is quite good i must say lasts for six to eight hours with moderate projection um and also i find this unisex shade by lush your underrated everyday sandalwood fragrance the next fragrance i'm gonna call it as like a cozy and comforting sandalwood scent and this is this is her by zadik and voltaire this is just so nice and cozy guys um if you watch my channel you know how many times i mentioned that this is the creamiest milkiest and the most tectonic um fragrance that you can get in the designer's world mm. it is definitely creamy because of that whipped cream that cashmere wood the sandal wood that is used in here is very creamy and and with the added nuttiness coming from the chestnut with the drizzle of that pink pepper is just so cozy and comforting um definitely an amazing sandalwood fragrance that is very affordable as well when it comes to longevity and projection this one lasts okay it lasts for more than eight hours and it does have a very strong projection for the first two hours and then it becomes moderate and also i find this unisex perfect for fall and winter time zadig and voltaire this is her your creamiest and most lactonic sandalwood designer fragrance right now we're gonna talk about i think my most favorite category of sandalwood which is calming and therapeutic i don't know is it just me or do you feel the same that sandalwood dominant fragrances give you this feeling of being calm and just relaxed um, i love this category and the first one that fits the best in this category is santal vani by the seven virtues um what can i say this is in my top three i think most favorite sandalwood scent in my collection therapeutic sandalwood plus the spiciness coming from the cardamom it also has a coconut milk note all right mixed with the spiciness of myrrh and cardamom this is perfection so just imagine like a spiced coconut milk stirred with a sandalwood <laughs> oh this is beautiful very calming very therapeutic i highly recommend you checking this one out this is a kind of sandalwood that i cannot live without um when it comes to longevity this is very moderate i must say six to eight hours it lasts longer on clothes and it has a moderate projection also i must say that this is unisex however leaning a little bit more feminine um yeah santalvani by the seven virtues next up guys is kayali's velvet santal 35 when this was released, uh, sandalwood was highlighted as like a base note of this fragrance. So I was so excited. Um, yes, the sandalwood is there really kicking hard along with that comforting tea, jasmine, and benzoin. I love this one. Very warm and comforting. I think this can even be perfect for daily use. Um, I would love to smell it on others as well. I would love to smell it on me. Mm, they did an amazing, amazing job on this one. Such an easy reach, um, comforting scent. I know that this is the scent of the groom uh, when they created this wedding collection. But in my opinion, this is very unisex. Um, right in the middle um, when it comes to longevity and projection 
it is very moderate let's say around five to seven hours highly recommend um this is one of my most favorite kayali fragrances as well so that is velvet santal 35 by kayali another comforting sandalwood is book by commodity i've talked about this fragrance many times in my channel because i really love it this is very woody imagine sandalwood um rosewood cedar with the greenness coming from the cypress and that aromatic and herbal feels from the eucalyptus mm, this is so comforting guys i love it i love how they put the eucalyptus note in this fragrance because for me who is a sandalwood um, lover most of them kind of smell the same right do you agree with me are you a sandalwood lover um because if you are i think you know what i'm talking about a lot of sandalwood dominant fragrances are kind of smelling the same so that's one of the reasons as well why i took time to gather my best of sandalwood because i noticed that most of them are smelling the same okay going back to this since this one has a eucalyptus note and that green coming from the cypress it is different guys and it is beautiful it makes me feel at peace yeah makes me feel like reading a book on top of the mountain um i've mentioned this many times as well that um i love wearing this when i go on hiking because it just gives me the vibe highly recommend book by commodity and um when it comes to longevity and projection i must say that it is moderate let's say around five to six hours and it's unisex guys yeah book by commodity the last scent under this category is called nothing but sea and sky by unui nomad um this fragrance is one of my favorites from the brand such an easy and comforting scent it only has three notes listed which are sandalwood bergamot and musk and guys oh my i think this is just like the perfect interpretation of those three notes however to my nose sandalwood is very prominent such a beautiful scent guys nothing spectacular but I don't know i remember the first time i tried this i was wowed um i didn't even know the name of the fragrance but i like separated it straight away because it gave me an impact like definitely my vibe especially like for everyday use this is the last fragrance under the category of calming and therapeutic and it is definitely giving me that vibe it is citrusy with that creamy sandalwood and that clean musk. Highly recommend, guys. It lasts around six to eight hours and it has a moderate projection. Yeah, nothing but sea and sky by Unui Nomad. So now we're going to the category called signature scent worthy. Um, basically, these are sandalwood dominant fragrances that, in my opinion, are safe to use all year round and also it gives like a good impact hence it's highly recommended to be used as signature scent starting off with creme de queer by bdk guys this is my favorite fragrance from bdk because it is beautiful it has pineapple and citruses in the beginning Mm, but then as it dries down the creamy sandalwood mm, the white suede and the cashmere just envelops the rest of the notes and it just gives off that clean and powdery feeling that just smells incredibly beautiful mm. it is smooth it is creamy and powdery guys it is giving me that polished look without trying 
I really love this fragrance. Um, I think this is an underrated scent as well from the brand. To my nose, this is mainly sandalwood and cashmiran. It has that pineapple note, however, it's only in the background along with some citruses like grapefruit um, and bergamot. But you guys, this is very enveloping. I highly recommend you checking this one out if you are looking for a signature scent that is quite unique as well. Um, when it comes to longevity and projection, I must say this is good. Lasts around six to eight hours with moderate projection. And it is unisex, however, leaning more feminine in my opinion. Creme de Queer by BBK. Next up is 1015 by Room 1015. If violet note appeals to you in fragrances as well as sandalwood, you're gonna adore this one. 1015 by Room 1015 is the signature scent of the brand actually. And you guys, this is a beautiful iris and leathery, creamy sandalwood kind of scent. Mm, it is different. Hence, I put it in the category of signature scent. The opening is really heavy in violet and iris. You know, those purple flowers combo. But it is contrasted with that potent and dry saffron rounded with kayak wood and sandalwood along with papyrus in the base guys this is beautiful mm, very unique uh in my opinion to be honest i never really realized um how strong a violet note can affect um my my nose but it is 10 15 actually that made me realize that i love violet fragrances as well this to me just smells smooth very violet heavy but at the same time powdery as well because of the iris and it has that creamy sandalwood and leathery background i um, highly recommend you checking this one out because i find this one very sexy as well and different because I love how the saffron and leather are playing in the background um, of this fragrance. When it comes to longevity and projection, it is moderate, let's say around six to eight hours. And the projection as well is very moderate. And it is unisex as in like right in the middle. Um, 1015 by Room 1015. Next up is very new to my collection and if you guys are following me on Instagram, you know that I rave about this fragrance. And this is Lo by Liz. This is not easy to get here in Europe, okay? I got this as a birthday gift from my husband. But you guys, my birthday was in November and it arrived like almost Christmas time. Yeah, because it was back ordered um, and it just it's just complicated. You know, since I told my husband that this is the only gift that I wanted from him, I'm willing to wait. So finally, it arrived. I had very high expectation, okay? Of course, because this is recommended by a fellow Woody scent lover and Lauren here in YouTube. And you guys, I am actually quite shocked with the effect of this fragrance because it is not what I was expecting it to smell like. This smells literally like the woods with some burning incense in it in the best possible way. This to me smells so refined and polished. Like if I smell this on someone, I will really feel like that person has his or her life together. It is just beautiful, beautiful guys. And also sandalwood is actually not listed in the note breakdown. However, I'm getting sandalwood vibes in this fragrance. It has a lot of other woody notes like Gaia Quod 
and it has sequoia. I think that's why it is quite different from other woody notes that I've tried. You know, I never thought that it would be this incensey. Okay, this to me is is very intensive in a way that it is giving me warmth and sensuality like deep within i love this fragrance it has like that smokiness in it as well that is intoxicating for me so imagine like a smoky incense but not like in a cathedral way it is like literally burning incense in the middle of the wood however you are wearing like a suit <laughs> in the middle of the forest i don't know that's the vibe of this fragrance like it smells very refined guys like don't get me wrong this is signature scent worthy in my opinion really worth the wait and i am so happy to finally have this fragrance in my collection because it smells divine. When it comes to longevity and projection, I must say that this is good. Um, it stays longer on clothes. However, on skin, I think it lasts for around six to eight hours. Um, first two hours can be strong and then it becomes moderate. And this is straight up unisex, guys. Like, yeah, right in the middle of unisex highly recommend for all the woody lovers out there um bow by liz we are now down to the last two fragrances and now i'm gonna consider this category as like the most polarizing slash heavy hitting sandalwood kind of scent i think you know what i'm gonna mention because this is this is one of my ogs for life santal 33 I know a lot of you hate it but i love it and i will always love it because i'm a very loyal person i'm scorpion you know um i love this since the beginning and even though i know a lot of you hate it because you're smelling the deal that i don't know where it's coming from i'm not getting deal in here this to me is just a perfect violet iris sandalwood and leather combo that opened my mind to to niche fragrances mm, yeah this was my first niche fragrance in my collection and this is my third bottle of it hence i don't even have like any dent um but guys you've heard me talk about this fragrance a gazillion times so i'm not gonna explain further but all i'm gonna say is that this is a polarizing potent sandalwood leather and cardamom combo that you will either love or hate um fortunately i am team love santal 33 i find this very long lasting this and the next fragrance that i'm gonna talk about are the longest lasting sandalwood in my collection and i still get excited every time i wear this fragrance Mia yeah, santal 33 by le labo the last but not the least i think is the most polarizing one and this is santal austral by matthias premier this is so potent that you don't need a lot okay i think four sprays max and you are good to go this is very heavy in that fresh and woody extremely woody sandalwood okay this is not your typical creamy sandalwood so imagine that fresh wood sandalwood mixed with the iris and benzoin and it has that very deep tonka bean sweetness in the base mm. guys this is really good and of high quality i must say i love uh, matthias premier fragrances because they have not only long lasting and potent fragrances like you can really tell 
the the high quality of their fragrances okay because i think it's the only perfume brand that creates their own ingredients okay so everything is like planted from their land um and you guys this is such a high quality fragrance mm. in the dry down it is very powdery yet it's fresh as well it is very clean smelling this to me smells very luxurious and rich a perfect example of quiet luxury in my opinion and this fragrance leave a very beautiful scent trail as well just like any other Mattia Premier fragrances um i love this one this is a different kind of sandalwood as well it is such a fresh yet sharp sandalwood along with that creamy iris with the resinous touch of benzoin and some sweetness of tonka bean love it santal austral like the most potent sandalwood fragrance in today's list so that is the video for today guys i hope that you enjoyed because i really took time in creating today's list i made sure that all of this sandalwood um, perfumes are different from each other i want to know how did you find it do you love sandalwood like what is your favorite please let me know in the comments down below because it is my favorite note and i am always in the hunt for best sandalwood fragrances right um thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and see you on my next one bye guys